if it looks more substantial than the Nissan. That's because Daimler has widened the track and the bodywork by a full 2 8 inches. The two trucks will be built on the same assembly lines, but no exterior sheet metal or glass is interchangeable. The door geometry, the hinges, latches, and their locations, is the same, but the panels are all brand specific. The X-Class looks good, with a front end dominated by the large three-pointed star and an overall design similar to Benz's SUV models. The rear end with its slim vertical tail lights reminds us of a concept car, especially when fitted with the LED front and rear lighting that comes with upper trim levels. The widened body allows more generous interior space than the Nura offers. Mercedes has raised the rear seat bottom to deliver more comfort. In the back seat of the crew cab Nissan, the only cab style available in the X-Class, you can feel like a half-folded pocket knife, although tall adults will lack for headroom. There is a lot more sound insulation than in the Nissan, and the Germans have added structural elements to the frame in order to reduce noise, vibrations, and harshness. The interior is dominated by a concave dashboard. The instruments, central screen, HVAC controls, and the optional touch-sensitive command infotainment system come straight from the Mercedes-Benz passenger car parts pin, in the standard trim, called Pure. The look is somewhat frugal with a lot of hard plastic, but most of the electronic goodies are aboard, including the latest driver assistance safety systems, the mid-level progressive system.